And there was the ribbon cutting in Washington yesterday at the new Trump Hotel. And we're back now with more from Donald Trump and his family. They were all together there in Washington, D.C. for that just in two weeks before Election Day. And we spoke about how the campaign has changed their lives, whether it's been damaging to their company's brand. As Don Jr. told me, it's been a brutal process. This is really a question for everybody, but it's based on something you said when you were a teenager. You said that your father's legacy is your legacy. How has that changed over the course of this campaign? Well, we're very proud of our father and what he's accomplished. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. I've been joking for a while that when we started even just this project, we said Trump was coming to Pennsylvania Avenue and we didn't even know at the time what exactly that meant <laughs> or, One way or um, the other. <laughs> how foreshadowing uh, a statement that would be. I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination. We've seen all of you out there all year long. Don, there's a lot of talk about the possibility of you running for office yourself. <laughs> Has this made it more likely or less likely? It, it's a tough process. It's a brutal process. But there is also that element that's just amazing to be able to touch someone that way. And I've seen my father doing that. So I don't know. My only mission is to get him there because I know he can make a difference. And all three of you, you're not in the family business yet. You're not still studying yet. for the... I just graduated in <laughs> May, so... Yes, yeah, so are you interested? Of course I'm interested. I think um, I'm applying to law school, though, so I like to bring a, a different kind of skill set to the company. All three of you are senior vice presidents of the Trump Organization. So I want to ask you a good, good question I asked your dad. There have been several stories recently suggesting that your brand has taken a hit over the course of this campaign. How worried are you by that? What are you going to do about it? So I think we have the hottest brand in the world right now, and I think buildings like this are a testament to what we do every day. Some of these studies are showing less foot traffic in some of the businesses. There's one, I guess, apartment in New York trying to get the Trump name off the building on Riverside Drive. Well, so I think the brand is much more than New York City, right? This is a global brand. I mean, when you look at the people that he's touching on a daily basis, the presidency fixing America is so much bigger than any of that regardless. I think the brand is hotter than it's ever been, but it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't care about the brand. I care about the country. Ivanka, you've got your own business on. I wonder what you say to the women who've started this grab your wallet um, campaign on Twitter to boycott your collection. How does that make you feel? And, and what do you want to say to those women who are doing it? Well, the beauty of America is people can do what they like. But I'd prefer to talk to the millions, tens of millions of American women who are inspired by the brand and the message that I've created. My advocacy of women trying to empower them at all aspects of their life started long before this presidential campaign did. I've never politicized that message. People who are seeking to politicize it because they may disagree with the politics of my father, there's nothing I can do to change that. And, and all of you, you're gonna stick with the business even if your dad wins? <laughs> we're, we're, we're builders. Uh, you know, it's, it's been an awesome to be yeah. a small cog in the wheel. Okay, be honest. Which one of you predicted you all would be here today this close to the election? I don't think any of us got that far ahead of ourselves when he first announced his candidacy. We're not a political family. I think we were attempting to understand real time what that meant in terms of our future and our lives. In retrospect, I don't think any of us would tell you we're surprised. I've never in the past seen him fail, and, and this is obviously on, on another level in terms of his commitment to this country and its people. You're surprised? Well, I guess, you know, a lot of people are surprised in terms of the press, etc. but I think probably I wouldn't have done it if I didn't think I could win. You know, if I thought I was going to be knocked out nine people ago, I would have probably said I won't do it. So. Uh, I can't say I'm surprised. It's really about making America great again. That's what it's about. That's why I'm doing this. So all the adult kids say they're going to stay with the business, even if he does win in the White House. They won't go to the White House, become advisors. But it could raise some real questions if he wins about conflicts and what, how they're going to handle that. And that'll be a huge issue mm -hmm. if we get to that day. All right. But an incredible interview. Such insight into yeah, the family absolutely. and how it works leading up into these final days mm -hmm. of the election. Absolutely. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. <laughs>